Welcome to Star Colony. I'm making this video because we are June 15 and this game is going away on June 19. That is on only four days. So as a way to remember the game because I've been playing for 4.5 years I'm making this video. It's not a complete walkthrough because it's a time-based game meaning it needs real time to upgrade your troops, your building and everything else so even after 4.5 years I haven't upgraded everything almost everything but not everything so it's accessible on StarColony.com it's a game made by Russians so there's a lot of Russian people out there but you can still talk in English it's fine Here's the introduction game. That's the latest news, 2017. The game was quite popular, I'd say, 2018, 19, but from 10 it just went downhill. It's not much popular. See, there's 48 people online right now. We used to be the hundred, hundred thousands, but now it's pretty much dead. The fact that Adobe Flash went away on January 1st doesn't help the game because it is based on Flash but they made a special launcher so you can still play it like if I right click you see well no you don't see uh, well it says about Adobe Flash Player 32.0.0.371 Oh, see, that's Adobe Flash. Uh, okay, this is the message about uh, uh, the game going away. If you just go in the new section, you will see it. Uh, actually, no, it's on the forum. I don't know why they didn't put it in the news. Too lazy. Every day you log in, you have some bonus. It's pretty much all bad except the minerals. But anyway, bonus is bonus. Battle of Titans is over. That is something in 4.5 years. This is the first time this is happening to me. Because I, I never really played Battle of Titans before. But now that everyone is not playing, it seems like I won something. So I won uh, something. Uh, there is a clan war. The game is time based where you build an army, you're building, but you can also join clan with other members, other humans, and you just make war one clan to another clan. And turns out we have a clan war right now. It's a fame clan, fame war. You just need to attack and gain, gain fame against the other. And right now we are position number one because I'm in Shogun Assassin. Alright, whatever. Uh, so this is the my base in the first planet which is called Terra Speratak. And here's how I do my routine. I start by clearing palm and rock and bushes, uh, fern. It gives like diamond and not a lot, but then you harvest your gas and mineral. You can see it at the top right. There's even plasmium. It's all resources you need to upgrade buildings and troops. There's nothing really fancy about this game. It's a really a clone of StarCraft. Let me show you like the troops. This is the human troops. You got. Uh, uh, just a sec. So this is the human troops. You got Pyro, Marine, Reaper, Bomber, Warbot, uh, Medic, Cruiser, Tank. Of course you have uh, ground troops, hair troops, that they all have different abilities. This is like the Zealot, but they call Ancient Ground with Pulsar, Adept, Plasman. 
Annihilator, and you got the Zerg, which is called Swarm Ground with Livieta, Megabat Widow. And when you attack, you can also attack with uh, ammunition. This is Medkit Missile EMP. In any case, uh, uh, part of my routine, uh, you just go here, play the mini game, Wheel of Fortune. This is something that is really bad about this game. When you reach 20, yeah, I'm now 14 out of 20. When you reach 20, w one out of two times that you reach 20, you can have an Aspid Worm. It's a building of defense. It's uh, it's quite interesting to have. And in 4.5 years with two account, I never got it. Uh, Let's try to reach 20 of 20. Now I'm paying diamonds, but uh, diamond is the currency that you obtain by buying them with real money. You can get a bit here and there free, but mostly it's uh, you need to buy it. Uh, I have enough diamond to reach 20, so let's do it. Uh, and all of this right now, I'm buying real money, real diamond, and it's, it's all bad. Uh, the rewards is very, very cheap. It doesn't make a dent in my game. So now I play the 2020. As bit of worm is not even there. And no, see, the yes, Aspid Worm is good when I go, I'm gonna reach 20. I never got it. It's a bad game, nothing special. I could play the minigame Dice. Uh, rewards are not so bad, but usually you keep them for upgrading something when you're just missing a bit of something. Just a few times in 4.5 years I was able to get 4 of something. It's very rare and usually you get it by paying diamonds again to re-roll again and again and again. But at some point, see, I cannot buy more. It's out. So you got your resource at the top right, uh, you got uh, minerals, gas, plasmium, diamonds. I am VIP and if you play this game you really need VIP. Buy the 3000 diamonds for 3 months. The bo tease bonus are really good. This is the base editor where you can just move the layout of your base. Uh, you just clear everything. and. I'm not gonna do that. I think the layout of my base is pretty much the best you can do. I spent quite a few hours on this. Uh, you have some achievements here. Rewards are not so bad, but it's not very important. You got tournament. This is you, in the tournament. You have the clan wars, of course, uh, with your clan. Battle of Titans, kind of like the same thing, but it's for people with just alone. So right now, like, who has the most resources? Well, you can see it here. Damage, experience, and glory. What is glory? Fame. It's uh, just. That you're attacking someone who is kind of strong and you gain fame or glory. Yeah. And right now we are in a fame glory yeah. war. So you can see the top colonizer of people, you can see the top war, the top clans. And your rank, yeah. At the top left, uh, this is my uh, level 163 with 15,000 experience points. I got 850 fame, which is not a lot, uh, but the thing is that in this game, usually people uh, is.
people stay at around 600 fame because if you have less fame you have more chance to win a clan war you got a few quests I completed them all except that one the rewards was really bad didn't do anything uh, fortune pack is uh, for you to buy with real money here stuff it's a few of them is not that bad and you always have something on sale uh, at the top you have your builders I'm now I now have four builders three out of five because I'm using one right now to upgrade my hero Krigar which is gonna be finished in six days seven hours but of course the game is going away in four days so this will never complete when you do attack you have four hero you have Krigar Iron Wild Sharpshooter my favorite one and Thor they all have different abilities and this is my base on your base you got siege tank power cannon mirage bunker air defense railgun as usual they have different abilities you got your mineral harvester gas harvester plasmium harvester which gives you resources and you can also upgrade the storage when you start the game i think you can have like a maximum of 10 million minerals but by upgrading storage I, my maximum is now 22 million in this section you have your defense history when was the last time someone attacked you turns out someone attacked me 16 hours and 32 minutes ago and same thing for the attack incoming it's a part of the game which was never developed lazy developer and in the reward storage if you're uh, it's kind of like a bank if you have too much of something they will just put it there and this one oh yeah i think i got one like this before yeah and you can upgrade it and just another ground for me to get more troops uh, but i probably i don't know how much this one i can keep on my base but it's probably just a few days it's kind of like useless uh, what's in the shop uh, there's the bank you pay real money for diamonds uh, this is something quite interesting you have to wait before you buy because at some point there's gonna be like a big sale uh, and it's really worth it uh, if you ever buy it uh, in 4.5 years with two accounts this game cost me only 70 bucks US though in resources it's all about the building about your resources black market it changed every 24 hours some of them is crazy like this one a building resonator level 8 for 461,000 diamonds uh, that is just really crazy I highly doubt anyone was able to buy this ever uh, right now I'm at 5.3 million gas usually what I buy is uh, re building resonator or building den detonator which uh, gives you armor and defense bonus on your building uh, or your troops uh, usually that's only the only what I buy you have your army building defense building one thing I really like in this game is the extra wall you gain bricks from different sources as usually it's the wheel of fortune like i showed before and if i have 10 bricks i can build an extra wall and there's no limit so if you play for like 20 years you're gonna have a lot of wall this is neat and you can pay diamonds for resources 
So that's done. You have the conquest section. Let's go see the first planet, Terra Sperata. When you're in a clan, you can own a land here. And this land, like this one, will give you this bonus gas per day, minerals per day, and 4% XP bonus. So every land gives you a different bonus. This is pretty good. Especially the fact that it's tax. So... Like for this one, you have 7% unit battle XP bonus. And if you own another land with XP bonus, they do stack. So this is very, very interesting. Yeah. And you, the clan needs Dubnyam, so that's another resource, so you can be able to attack elsewhere. It's the same thing here for Ether Sira, the other planets. It's the uh, same principle, just more lands. And it turns out that we also have Toyan, which was never developed uh, after all these years, unfortunately. Uh, part of my routine, the first thing I will do will be the clan, clan mission. This is my clan here with everyone in it. And we have a common goal, which is to kill a computer base. This base is extremely powerful. For example, just a stupid siege tank has 1 million HP. The railgun is 5 million HP. Bunker 1.4 million. Just the command center is 12 million HP. This is really crazy. Even the wall, everything is boosted in this. But we are all together, all the clan can participate in it. And if we are able to uh, kill it, uh, the uh, destroy it, uh, the top five person who did the most damage will gain a plus one unit inter clan all, which mean uh, they can bank more troops, so that when they attack an enemy, they can use more, which is still pretty good. The maximum is eighty units. So now, if I want to attack this one, which is extremely hard, I hate that one. Um, if I go here, that is bad, but... Let's try something new. I'm going to attack, of course, with Widow, because they have crazy defense plasma it's good good defense and uh, I have no choice I don't think I'm gonna do something very good but it's a test uh, There is way too many things hitting me at on once. I don't think I'm gonna last. You can see I have 2 minutes uh, 20 seconds left. Uh, I don't think I'm gonna last a long time. Now that the game is ending, I'm pretty much the only one hitting the base. But if you have like 20, 25, 30 people attacking every day that makes a, a big difference and that's it it's the end so I did 247 thousand damage it's really bad my record was 2.2 2.4 million. It's a very hard base. 
So, uh, after this, you go here, mission. When you start the game, you have 30 missions to complete. It's kind of like a tutorial. They are very hard, though. It's good to go on YouTube and to see how you can do it. And after this, you get those missions. If you're able to complete it, you get 100% mineral and 100% gas. I'm at this one, I have 38% done, but turns out I'm missing some dark matter. You get uh, the maximum in 24 hours, so you can only attack once, but of course you can buy it with diamond. So now I'm full, let's see what I can do. This is the same thing as the clan all mission, but this time I'm alone, it's just me and my base. But it's a computer base also. And it turns out that this one you need to attack with only air. Just like that. I usually do 11, 12, 13% a day. So it takes about 8 days for it to complete. Just use the EMP to block uh, a, uh, the air one, like this one, and now it cannot attack. Yeah. EMPs are very good, but nuclear is much better because it gets rid of 50% health of a building. Too bad we do not have them in the clan all mission Ten percent, not that great, but it's okay. So now I have three hundred troops. Actually, I got the plus two because of the bronze force. Doesn't matter. So I have full ground troops. I need now to attack a real human base. And now we are in a clan war of glory. This one give me seven glories, not a lot. Uh, let's see another one. Oh, 50. But the walls are quite something. And the building too. That's gonna be hard to kill, to destroy. You know. Next. Force, not enough, <clears throat> and this game is very easy to destroy for me. If I want experienced troop so I can upgrade them, I need a base that is not too easy. Let's try to find something with more than 11 glory points. I don't think I'm gonna find something good. Ah, uh, screw it, I'm gonna hit that base. So, 600,000 mineral gas. Uh, huh, why not? It's not that bad, but I could have find better another base. Oops. 
So, always widow for widow first because they have good, 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 good defense. Then gonna be the plasmon. And you send the warbots slowly because if they hit a mine, they will be destroyed in one with just one mine. I can send Annihilator here, get rid of that. Uh, this is my ground forces with that I just won. What's in it? Oh, that's Adept. That's my hero sharpshooter, I love him. That's his the hero Thor. And that's Iron Wild, and they have special abilities, it's fine. Yeah, that's an easy base for me. See how much the war bots get in experience. Of course, there's 35 of them, but uh, it's crazy. And that's the trick to this game, only attack with warbots, because the experience they have, you can send them to another unit with your uh, right here in retrain. See, I can put 5,401 experience to, let's say, you can transfer, of course it's gonna cost diamond, but it's not, not that bad. So you see my warbots is ex fully upgraded, but I'm still using them because you can bank the experience and transfer it away here. So I have the tank, I'm missing the tank, it's not fully upgraded. I'm missing a nearly... No, Annihilator is fine. No, I'm missing Annihilator, I'm missing Plasmon, Plasmon, almost there. And this is fully upgraded. Toast rebuilding is for upgrading building no this is for upgrading troops. You got the tech lab, the barracks and the space lab. You can also upgrade your ammunition, which is already done a long time ago. So now let me see. This is people requesting troops inter clan all turns out I cannot hear this one's missing two marines so I need three like this for marines so this is me helping out my team I'm gonna build more troops to be prepared for the next attack. Yeah. So I need 35 warbots. Uh, 3 widow. This is something interesting about the game. I still think it's a bug that should be fixed. Uh, but see, I'm building 8 plasmons. Uh, but I can only make 3. The thing is that after everything is completed the bang time will go the queue time will go into the plasma as a uh, bang time so the next time i need something it will be already done just like i did with the megabats and marines it's kind of like a bug why do i say that because it's a trick that not everyone knows about So now everything is fine on this planet, I'm gonna go to the other planet. It's kind of like a useless planet because not much is happening there. The main reason to use this planet is that you can attack and gain experience through. There's a lot of plasmium you can get on this planet, but you can only send 
1500 plasmium a day here, which is gonna happen in one minute. I can send 1500 plasmium to my other planet. Uh, you can send more, but let's say you choose a 90% chance of success to deliver it. It costs diamonds. Everything costs diamonds. I've never used it. So I'm just gonna make a quick attack. Yeah. Anything, any, anyone doesn't really matter. Toast base are extremely hard on this planet. The defense is crazy good. And everyone is only at the attacking grounds because there's too much hair defense. The walls are extremely more powerful than on the other base. Watch out for mines. We're gonna go around. This is so not going well. I hate this planet. All my plasmum are already dead. Ah, uh, whatever, screw it. Uh, and I'm using the Eero Raporus, uh, this one here. Another Eero. More different abilities. That's pretty much it for the game. Of course, I'm probably missing something, but that's a quick overview of the whole thing. It has nothing really special, like I said before. A kind of light star crafting game, time based multiplayer on the internet. One thing I can tell them is that is good is that in 4.5 years I don't think the server ever went down. I'm gonna produce a bit more ammunition, you can bang them. And I'm gonna make new troops, same thing. And can I send my plasmium now? Yes, I can, but for that I just need to switch planet. Uh, I usually log only one time a day, yeah, but some people do play this game intensely here, yeah, and they can do 10, 15, 20, 30 attacks a day here. Yeah. Which is a lot. Uh, some people put a lot of money in this game. Oh, I clicked the wrong button. Come on. Now I can send it. Uh, which is not even a lot. 1500 a day of plasmium. Should have been more. It's a long game. Like my common center, which is level 14. I think, if I remember correctly, if you go from 13 to 14, it takes like 24 or 28 days, uh, real time. Uh, one thing that is interesting is the account level. I'm account level 3 because I paid real money for that. And it gets bonus, which is not bad, but it goes up to level 15. Uh, 
I thought it went up to level 10, no more. Because I, I really think it was level 10 before, I don't know what's happening now, but I calculated that if you want to pay real money to get to level 10, it costs 10,000 bucks US. It's crazy, nobody's gonna pay that kind of money. Actually, maybe some people do, but not me for sure. All in all, it's not really much of a bad game, but it takes a long, long, long time to upgrade everything. And if you want to go any faster, you need a lot of money here. I should have quit that game years ago, but since I'm only logging in once, one time a day, and it takes me like 15-20 minutes to go through very fast, uh, it's not that bad. So that's it for the game.